Franklin, now a Category 4 major hurricane. This is Typhoon Documentaries, and we bring you the latest update on Major Hurricane Franklin. News position at 9 a.m. EDT or 1 p.m. UTC on August 28th is 27.5 degrees north, 70.9 degrees west. The latest NHC update statement provided shows maximum sustainments of 125 knots or 230 kilometers per hour, certainly undergoing a rapid intensification cycle. It shall be declared as the first major hurricane in Atlantic hurricane season. Evidenced by Aircraft Hunter's latest observations, which suspects surface winds reaching 130 knots. CMS's advanced door rack technique shows winds of 115 knots, thus showing a CI of 6.0, aligning with the center's analysts. IR imagery depicts the storm is certainly developing a very well organized structure with an extremely well defined pinhole eye surrounded by a sonar ring of deep convection and compact convective band surrounding the system, extending the most to around 25 degrees north in the southern semicircle. This rapid intensification cycle shall be triggered by favorable environmental conditions, featuring very warm sea surface temperature reaching 30 degrees Celsius and low vertical wind shear reaching around 5 to 10 knots per now. Preliminary wind probabilities show that the storm shall still carry strong tropical storm force winds when approaching the northern portions of Bermuda. The latest NHC's update showing probabilities reaching at least 50% and shall start affecting the island by the midnight of Wednesday. NHC's forecast code indicates the storm shall remain a strong major hurricane and accelerate to the northeast, thus it shall remain a powerful hurricane by the end of the extent range forecast. Other effects could also affect Bermuda. NHC's public advisory has stated the swells generated by the system shall start to impact the island and could spread towards the eastern coast of the United States thus causing life-threatening conditions. More information will be provided in our short advisory at 11 a.m. EDT today. For further information, please consult information from the local weather service or seek official info from the National Hurricane Center.